Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upload theme in WordPress in 2024. So today we're tackling a fundamental aspects of customizing your WordPress sites. How to upload a theme in WordPress in 2024. So if you're ready to give your site a fresh look or explore new design possibilities, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of uploading and activating a theme on your WordPress website. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and log in into your WordPress dashboard. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, just go to the URL section, type in here WordPress, wordpress.com, and hit the enter button. This should take you into their website right away. For you, if it's your first time, you will not find yourself there. You'll find yourself on a page like this. If you have an account, just go to the top, top right corner in here, click on login to login into your account. If you don't have an account, click on get started to create a new account. And if you don't know nothing about uh, WordPress, scroll down, read more information about this website, familiarize yourself with just have a general idea about it. So you can see the plans in here, monthly and yearly what you should pay, the features, pause the video and check it all by your own as an example. You can even keep scrolling to read more information about us, what people seen about us, frequently asked questions, a lot of information that you need. Once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on a place like this. So what we'll need to do is simply now, once we're logged in into our WordPress, is of course, you'll be able from here, uh, this is the control like center for your website where you can manage various aspects, including themes, plugins, and even contents. And once you log in, as an example, you'll have to navigate into the theme section where you'll find it. Go to this list panel as an example. Here on appearance, you'll find themes. Simply go and click on that. As an example, in here, so let me just go open that in the meanwhile. Of course, in here, you'll be able to choose from a lot of provided themes in here as you can see a lot of them are free some of them will require some premium plan some of them partner plan plan so go and check whatever you want as you can see we have here all you can choose like as an example you want store you can look for store uh, if you want like i don't know business about real estate health and wellness you'll be able to find a lot of other stuff here you'll find some free of them as you can see uh, some variation will require even the premium plan so you'll have to upgrade if you want to get it. If you want to just complete with the, or finish with normal plan, just go. You can choose the default style. Click on activate this design. But you can even before preview it and customize this before doing anything. But as we said, we wouldn't like just as we said in the beginning of this video, we don't want to install the theme. We want to upload the one. Of course, for installing, like it's very easy. You can just click on whatever it is and click on before like preview and customize before doing anything. You'll have to wait a bit, of course, until they take you to the site editor. And oh, okay, sorry, my bad. I click on the like this back. So here, as you can see, you'll be able to customize it, customize the website, the websites or the theme that you choose before even like downloading or installing it. So once you customize this however you want, let's say, for example, you want to customize this or whatever you want, click on simply activate. So are you ready to save? Saving changes will active this. So click on activate and it will be activated. And still, as you can see, saved. So it's activated. That means it's installed. All you need to do now, simply go back to your WordPress and you'll find it's activated instead, as you can see. So now you'll be able just to customize it. But as we said, if you want to upload on the themes, so go to appearance themes, you'll find this install a new theme. You can, of course, click on design your own and start designing your own from scratch. You can start doing that. Start with the header, intro, about, service, and etc. But if you want to upload your own, just go and click install a new theme. And as you can see from here, you'll be able to up drop files or click here to install. Basically, to drop your own file and upload your own theme. Of course, if you have a premium theme or a theme downloaded from an external source, you can upload it directly in here uh, with a zip file. Select just the zip file from your computer, click uh, or and then just drag it in here. But as you can see, this will require an upgrade. 
of the plan if you want to upload it. So without upgrading the plan, you'll not be able to do it. Uh, let me just go and check in here if I will be able to do it in here to show you exactly. So you can click on add a new theme as an example. And on add a new theme, you can simply go and click on upload theme. Yeah, I just have an option in here. It's just like uh, WordPress with a plan, this one. So if you have a theme in a zip format, you may install or update it by uploading it in here. So just click on choose a file, choose the file from your PC or your theme from your PC. Of course, it should be a zip file. So it should be .zip. I don't know if I have some zip files in here. So I mean, it's like, uh, so zip files, let me just go and show you. So it should be like .zip. And yeah, I guess like, so yeah, it's something like that or with WinRAR, something like that. So it should be just .zip. Just go and upload it in here and you will be good to go. You, It will be uploaded. Of course, once you upload it, like now you can head uh, over to your website and see the new theme in action. Once it's uploaded, of course, you can go to your, I don't know, websites and check like uh, anything. Ensure everything looks as expected. If you face any issues, you can always switch back to your previous theme uh, that's before you uploaded that. Because once you upload those, of course, you will definitely, I guess, choose it for your website. So you can make any adjustments if you find any issues in the customization options. And yeah, I guess that's it. As a summary, of course, basically, you can just go to the Slash panel, go to Appearance, click on Themes. Of course, if you are on the free option, click on Appearance, click on Themes, click on Install a New Theme, and then drag and drop your theme in here. If you are on the Play Plan, Appearance, Themes, you'll find a new theme in here. Just go and click on that, and then click on Upload Theme, and you'll be able to find it in here. Click on Choose, or simply drag the file in here, and you will be good to go. So there you have it. You've successfully learned how to upload a theme in WordPress in 2024. So your website appearance is a key element in engaging your audience. So feel free to explore different themes until you find the perfect match for your content. If you have one ready, good for you, that's match everything for you, just upload it. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. Of course, if you have any questions or if there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it in the comments below and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and I'll catch you in the next video.